This week I want to tell you about a fascinating business which I just purely by chance stumbled into and it's really um, a way that you can make huge sums of money very very quickly and believe it or not I'm actually doing this right now. Basically um, it all started uh, about a month ago I, I bumped into this guy um, at an event I was filming and he did a very short talk on something called local marketing and you know basically We've all heard of local business marketing and it's a big kind of thing at the moment in internet marketing. I'd never really taken it seriously and never really given it much thought. But what this guy was saying absolutely made sense. What he was saying was, um, you know, as internet marketers, we all have these skills, things we learn, we buy courses, we have keyword um, software. We have a knowledge base that is greater than a lot of, you know, very large corporate companies. And, you know, within these large corporate companies, there is a huge amount of ignorance and basically you know, they, they get their web design companies to build them websites and they just don't rank in Google. And then you've got the other side of it, local you know, really, really local businesses, people at the end of your road who used to pay a lot of money to advertise in Yellow Pages. Well, guess what? Um, you know, as you may know, Yellow Pages is dying. I know, you know in my area when I used to get a, a Yellow Pages, say 10 years ago, it used to be you know, a really thick book, A4 book. Um, however, I received Yellow Pages the other day and it was A5 and it was about that thin, like a magazine. Um, what does that tell you? Well, it tells you that these people who used to advertise in Yellow Pages just aren't doing it anymore. Um, and these guys are people who are used to spending money to advertise. Um, so anyway, I, I interviewed this guy, Rob. Um, I actually filmed the interview as well. And during the interview, it was just clicking in my head. I just thought, this makes sense, this makes sense. And after the interview, I actually went away and took action. And I've actually got now four local business, um, uh, basically people, local businesses who are paying me money um, to get their sites onto the front page of Google. It's amazing. Um, I've actually just completed one job um, and I've made over a thousand pounds, really just for a couple of days work very very quick easy cash and that was because I took action anyway have a look at the video let me know what you think um, you know and if you have any suggestions any tips for, for anyone who's watching the video leave them below the video and if you have any you know basically if you have any questions um, you know questions you'd like to ask me about how I'm actually doing this now leave your comments below the video and I will answer your questions as best as I can Okay, so what Rob is actually doing here is he's approaching local businesses like a local carpenter, a motor mechanic, and he's basically just replacing the yellow pages. He's, he's building little micro niche websites targeted around keywords. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, so they might already have a big corporate website already and very, you know, like you said, they're very proud of it. It's called some... The, the name of the site's got nothing to do with what people are searching for in Google. Um, exactly. Yeah. I mean, the whole point of what I'm doing is I'm building a small little website, only three pages. I build it in a WordPress platform. Um, I use their branding on that page. It's very important that if you want something to relate to that customer, you need to make sure you use that branding. Also, make sure that I do a welcome video so you get the personal touch. People want the personal touch because they want to know it's local and personal. So. The whole point about it is, is really that I'm trying to take it from a big, large catchment area, mm -hmm. bring it into a nice, tight niche, but make it personalised, make it what people want. You right, know. I'm going to stop you right there because I just want to let you guys know this is a fantastic way to replace your day job. Now, Rob told me earlier that he's charging £500 uh, to do this, which, you know, is, is not a lot of work. I mean, it take, how long does it take you? I mean, you said it was uh, a few hours work, wasn't it? I average now to build each site one and a half hours. Yeah, one and a half hours, 500 pounds, pretty good. So you're charging 500 pounds. So you wouldn't need to, which is about $800. So you, you wouldn't need to build many of these sites or get many of these customers every month to replace your day job. It's a fantastic way of making money. Okay, so step one, we find the customer, obviously. Yeah. Um, now, you talked about earlier finding customers, because obviously this is the bit people stumble on in, in local marketing, because we're internet marketers. We're not used to approaching businesses. And we've all had emails saying, you know, we can offer SEO services. And what's the first thing we do? We hit delete. We get the phone call from some, from some Indian consultancy company saying we can, you know, promote your listings in Google. We can get you on page one. You don't want to talk to them. So step one, to get that customer, how do you get that customer? Well, getting that first customer is a lot easier than you think. Now, this bit's going to hurt because people don't like that this bit, but you do your first one for free. Okay. How many people, or I'll ask you this one simple question, do you know other business people? Do you know people that have got businesses? The answer is yes, you do. Everyone does. 
even so, your, like your local hairdresser or something exactly. or your local mechanic who's fixed your car exactly yeah. just approach them and say look i've got this thing that i want to do i'll build you three little fly catcher sites tell them the concept that's the trick here get them to buy into the concept mm-hmm. say you'll do it for free do it for free i mean what does it actually realistically cost you you're talking six pounds for a domain name for two years if you've already got a hosting it doesn't really cost you anything else on hosting and it's time that's all you're really putting into it the whole point about doing it free is when you commit yourself it makes you get off your ass and take action and it's also word of mouth because if you've done a good job for them they're going to tell their friends well, you make that a condition of the thing. You yeah. say, I'll do this for free for you, but you have to tell five other business owners. And let me tell you this, you're, everyone worries about doing everything for free. In simple terms, business owners are big heads, and if they've got something to boast about, they're going to boast about it. And who are they going to boast about? They're going to boast about you because you made it work. Now, Rob knows what he's talking about because he actually does this. And, uh, you know, when you did your first one for free, what happened? It led to £9,000 worth of sales in my first month. Wow, 9,000, that's like, you know, 16, 17, maybe even $18,000. Um, so that just gives you an idea of the scope of it. Okay, so we've got our customer. Step two, you obviously we need to do some sort of keyword research. So let's pretend we're, we're looking at, I don't know, let's say a motor mechanic in, at Heathrow, which we're near Heathrow Airport at the moment. So we're looking for, it's a motor mechanic down the road, Heathrow, keyword research, what, how what would you do there? Well, what I'd simply do is I'd go onto Google Keywords tool mm-hmm. and I'd type in motor mechanic Heathrow and I would just see what permutations it brought up. I'd also type in a couple of other things. If there's something else in the local area, I'd type in that. I wouldn't just think motor mechanic. If they're a motor mechanic, are they doing servicing in Heathrow? I'd try to think what people are actually Like breakdown cover, windscreen replacement, things like like that. that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but what you'd find is rather than motor mechanic Heathrow, people would type into search engines, or in the UK anyway, they would type in car repairs in Heathrow. Because that's where they are. They're looking for a car repairer yeah. in Heathrow. Um, and when, what you're doing is you're just looking for them keywords. The other thing, and I know this is going to sound stupidly simple, ask. Mm. Just say to your friends and say it out of hat. Just say, if you're on Google, what would you type in if you're looking for a garage? And you'd be amazed what responses you'd get. But as soon as you get three or four responses that are almost identical you've nailed what people are looking for and then you can check it out. So you've got your keywords, say you've got five keywords which you reckon are the best ones to go after and then you're building separate websites for each one of these keywords and and you're using that keyword in the domain name, is that correct? Yeah, but the way I look at it again, it's about micro-niching, so they're long tail keywords. I don't just look at one keyword, I look at stringing two or three keywords together and that's really the trick because you're driving targeted traffic to your websites. So it wouldn't just be motor mechanics Heathrow, you'd have motor mechanics Heathrow, fix well, my car Heathrow, all in one domain name or would yeah, you have two I'll, separate domains? I, I would try to go for something like, um, sorry, garage repairs in Heathrow yeah. or car, um, mechanic in Heathrow. As examples, and like that, stringing the three of them together, and if you can, buying that domain string as all all in one keyword. The other thing I would say is, in the UK, we use .co.uk, and that's what you need to think about wherever or in the world you are. US in America. Exactly. Yeah. Or AU for Australia. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. because your business is in your country, so your domain name should equal the country you're trying to relate that business to. Don't bother about .coms, .net, .net infos yeah. or whatever it's a waste of time what you want to do is rank highly in the search engines for your actual country so for your 500 pounds uh, for the you know, you're charging the client how many of these little microsites would you be building i only build three so, so you literally you just build three of these sites and each one of these sites is like a little micro site which links back to the main site exactly yeah. exactly and what i find is that once people have had a taste of it and they realize that it actually works yeah. and it builds them traffic what do they come back for more sites yeah, and the best part is uh, Rob builds all these sites using WordPress, and as you know, WordPress very easy to rank for these sort of keywords in Google. In fact, if you build a WordPress site using one of these local search terms, which has virtually no competition, um, you'll probably end up on the front page one or page two of you know Google within you know a few days. I mean, is, is that what's happened with you? Generally, term speaking, yeah. within a week, I'm normally on page one. Yeah. Um, all I ever promise people is that I'll get them onto the first three pages of Google. If I don't get you onto the first three pages, don't pay me. But as yet, 
I haven't missed page one or page two. And then if, you, if you're on you know, page two or three, all you have to do is drive a couple of backlinks. You, you know, I'm not talking about major SEO here, just a very, very tiny, tiny bit of SEO. And it might not even need that just to get it onto page one on Google. Because again, you're talking about a keyword that has virtually no competition. You're suddenly throwing up an incredibly relevant site and, that, and Google sees this. Um, and so it's very easy to get these sites ranked in Google. Now, the other thing you can do, uh, which we talked about earlier, is yes, you can charge them £500 to do this, um, but obviously you, you still own the domain names, you've got the hosting, uh, and you're charging them an annual fee for this. I mean, you, I mean Rob actually is a very nice guy, and uh, he just charges them a very, you know, very small amount for the uh, domain name renewal each year, which is just a normal domain name renewal cost, isn't it? And, and a very, very small amount for hosting. But some people, I was talking to Simon Colson about this, and he was saying, oh, maybe we should be charging them you know, £100 a month for this. Yeah. You, could almost do the, you could almost do the site for free and then just charge them a monthly fee, like £100 a month or £200 a month. You, you could do that as well, couldn't you? You could do, without doubt. But what I find is business owners like to know where they're standing up front. They like to know what their costs are, what they're paying out for. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I mean, if you keep it simple, you keep it honest and you keep it up front, it generates work. It generates work by word of mouth. It generates work with these people coming back to you and asking you for even more. And, you know, as I sort of explained before, I mean, it's now generated um, wholesale sites where I'm building online shops for customers and these capture phrases around it, these little mini capture sites driving traffic into their online so you're shops. Building, so you're obviously an expert then in website design if you're building online shops then? Oh, totally not. No. no. What I know about computers, you can fit into a thimble and have room left for your finger. So Right, okay, so I'm, I'm outsourcing, and this is a guy who's saying he doesn't know much about computers and he's building online shops for people. So are you getting outsourcers to do all this? I use outsourcers, and I also use um, shopping software that's out there already, which is called EK, mm. EK and Power Shop. And uh, it's very simple to use. It gives the customers control, and that's what they like. I spend a little bit of time showing them how to do it, and I can charge them £5,000 for that service. Five grand, and how much does it cost you to do? Uh, including all the outsourcing and everything else, about fifteen hundred pound. Oh, fifteen hundred pounds. He's charging five grand. Now, that's a pretty good return on his money. And that was was that um, business returning business, if you like. But you, had you done the five hundred pound job for somebody, and then they came back and asked if you could do this big online shop for them? No, this is me doing a five hundred pound job for a customer. Yeah. Them telling someone else, and them coming to me and saying, "Rob, can you do this?" And my first answer always is, "Yes, of course I can," even if I haven't got a clue how to do it. And then you go and work out how to do it and get an outsourcer to do it. Exactly. Well, he's a proper entrepreneur, isn't he? Well, thank you very much for your time, Rob. I've learnt a lot and hope everyone at home's learnt a lot. Thank You're you. Welcome.